morning everyone today is friday april 10th um i just made some breakfast so i have hot lemon water over there and i made myself a smoothie so this has it has the same stuff as the other day i don't know if i told you guys what was in it though it's mixed berries a little bit of protein powder from alani new confetti cake pr protein powder um chia seeds hemp seeds a scoop of peanut butter spinach coconut water and almond butter it's my go-to and it is so so freaking good um but right now i am about to finish exporting last night's video and uploading it to youtube to be uploaded today so i'm going to finish doing that and finish making the thumbnail for that video all right video is all uploaded and scheduled ready to go for 10 o'clock today and i just finished my smoothie finished my lemon water finished the thumbnail which thank god for youtube tutorials because that's the only way that i learn anything so i watched a youtube tutorial on how to do it and that really helped out so watch that and class is going to start in probably like 40 minutes so i'm going to go downstairs make coffee plan out my workout for the day and get changed before class all right i am having a hard time speaking this morning i have i'm honestly feeling a little not maybe sick i don't know it's kind of like spooky to say sick right now because it like if you were to say anything about being sick you know you're like oh coronavirus okay so who knows but i am feeling like under the weather in the sense that my throat is a little sore and it's like i'm not forming words well because i don't i don't know do you ever like get congested or like you have a sore throat where you just like can't form words correctly i mean that's my everyday life anyway if you know you know but now i'm just feeling a little congested from like here up so super excited about that we love being congested i'm covering my um my webcam because i'm currently in class right now but i am i asked everyone on instagram yesterday if they had any um skincare recommendations so i'm going to go through those that everyone sent in so first of all thank you to everyone that sent in your recommendations but i'm gonna go through on sephora right now and other websites to look at some of the products you guys recommended them to today's gym outfit of the day from the vital seamless collection it's in the blue color and to be honest i don't really wear it much anymore i have this same set in black and i absolutely love I, I only have it in the leggings but i absolutely love the leggings um they are some of my favorites from them but for whatever reason i got the same size in the blue and they are 10 times tighter i can't get them on but they're the exact same size as the black and the black fit perfectly fine but again, these are another one of their lines where they just don't fall down, especially these because they are literally glued to my legs. But anyway, we're going to go work out. Um, I have my workout planned right there. And today we are working on hamstrings and glutes. This is pro I never thought about it like this, but I feel like saunas fry your hair. Maybe. I don't know. That was a very random thought. But after I touched my hair, I was like, shit, I'm basically applying a lot of heat to it. But anyway, I just did my hamstrings and glutes workout and then I hopped in the sauna here. I'm going to stay in here for about 30 minutes and I'm just finishing up listening to um, the Pretty Basic, Pretty Basic's newest podcast that came out. I think they come out on Thursdays, but I'm finishing up listening to that. I was listening to that while I worked out, so I'm also writing out... The freelance post that i said i had to do today as well so i'm doing both of those things multitasking a little bit while i sit in the sauna and do a little detoxification detoxification detoxifying i don't know whatever 
Okay, peace. Do you see this? It is snowing outside right now. What in the heck? I don't even know if it's like 30 degrees out. I think it's like 40 some. He needs to go. He needs to go. Anyway, right now I'm making breakfast. I'm having the same exact thing that I had yesterday, except we don't have any more peppers. So I'm just doing onions, spinach, eggs, avocado. So we're gonna eat this and class is started. So I'm gonna attend that. It is like a blizzard out there now. What the hell? It's quite later, um, not actually that much later. It's almost two now, but I have just been, I was working on a project, which um, we have completed, which is great. Um, and now I am just um, finishing up my purchases for my Sephora order. I'm still so indecisive. The ordinary products are really intriguing me and they have for a while because they are so cheap but they sell them at sephora and many other places and i constantly see people posting about them um and also all of the reviews and all of the people that do post about them rave about their products so i'm interested um and because they're so cheap i figured i would try um like a product or two of theirs so I'll give you guys the rundown of what I ended up purchasing when I finally decide to purchase. So I wanted to buy one of the products from The Ordinary at, um, it is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. So, oh, look at that. Also, if you've never heard of Honey, um, it's a browser extension that you can just hit a, a quick click of a button and it will go through all of the different coupons that are currently active so there's actually a coupon 350 off any qualifying $15 purchase with a coupon code of that so I got three dollars and fifty cents off and I still qualify for free shipping but anyway they didn't have this product um, at Sephora it was all sold out so I went on to Ulta and then actually some of the products that I was going to get over on Sephora are able to be purchased at Ulta so I am going to purchase these items here and the rest over at Sephora so I purchased all of my things from Sephora. Um, this is what I ended up getting. I got the Fresh Soy Makeup Removing Face face Wash. I've used this ever since probably last year around this time and I've repurchased it every time I've ran out since. So I absolutely love this stuff. It is super super gentle. Next I got the Biosance squalane and omega repair cream i used i had this before in a little travel size and it lasted such a long time it's a thicker cream and i plan to use it as a night cream like i did when i had the travel size it's super light and i really liked it so i purchased the full size in that i was recommended this product by a friend of mine so i got the title brightening enzyme water cream and since it's a water cream i figured that it would be moisturizing but light enough to use for a day moisturizer so i'm excited to try that out the nars radiant creamy concealers for my mom i'm running low on my c serum that i use during the day so i have used the old henriksen um like C, vitamin C line from them before. I think it's called like the Truth Serum and everything like that in that line. I've used this line before, but I've never used the Banana Bright Vitamin C Serum. I believe this is a cream base instead of an oil base. So I'm excited to mix things up with this. Um, so I'm excited to try that. The reviews were really great. And I also wanted to get a repair mask, so I got the Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. 
So this I've heard really great things about and I'm excited to try that for the first time. Then, like I was saying before, I ordered stuff from Ulta. I purchased the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. I'm very excited to try this to see if it will help with um, like removing acne scars. Any sort of like chemical peel, I'm pretty sure is supposed to help with um, reducing acne scars. So I'm very excited to try that. I got a refill of the Tarte Slash Paint Mascara. I've used this for years now and repurchased it every time. I literally don't remember the last time I used another mascara because besides this one. And lastly, I purchased the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I read really great reviews about this as well. So I'm very excited to try this. So those were all of my purchases from Sephora and Ulta. It took me forever to narrow it down to exactly what I wanted. But thank you to everyone who submitted your recommendations for me. Um, a lot of people sent in recommendations for products that, that I would have had to purchase on like outside websites where I probably only get one product from them. So I really didn't want to do that just because I was planning on ordering off of Sephora anyway. And it just works out so much better to have one large order than to order from a bunch of different website websites. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to try everything though. I get so hyped about new skincare products. Like skincare is literally like my baby and I value skincare so, so much. So I'm willing to invest in it. Um, and like I said, I am running low on almost every single product of mine. And there, there are some products that I could have gone a little bit without yet, but I was just super excited to try some new things. On now, I'm just gonna put it away. All right, today, um, my mom and I are going to actually dye Easter eggs, and I haven't done this probably I don't even know when the last time I did it was mom is going to be joining me very soon but I am going to take the kit and take the kit and start prepping for our Easter eggs so we have our little supplies here this is truly all we need the little packets of dye so I'm going to put each of these in a cup with a little bit of vinegar and water and then we're gonna get dyeing All right, so we're gonna use distilled white vinegar, so. And I'm not gonna measure. You just need something to activate the dye, basically. Okay, so you can see our little science project going on here. We got our water, we're about to put that in. Looking great. And what are you doing? I am poking holes in the bottom of the egg crates so that the excess dye and water run off so the eggs can dry. There you go. All right, it is almost seven o'clock. I've just been hanging out. Um, relaxing on the couch for a while. In a little bit, I am going to hop on a Zoom chat for a like happy hour slash birthday celebration um, party, quarantine party. So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to have a glass of wine or something like that during that time. Um, but I'm just going to finish off the video here then because I probably won't be doing much the rest of the night just hanging out most likely so thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this little quarantine vlog today make sure to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you aren't already um I will talk to you guys tomorrow I get to see you guys every day now. I'm so happy I'm keeping up with this, but
yeah okay bye guys